All right, so we're going to take a look at how to get um, areas from some polysurface masses in Rhino and read them in Grasshopper. And in the most simple case, we just look at the readout from the layers. Um, in the second case, we'll take a look at how to label them. And then in the third, um, we'll look at the Excel write option. So this first one, uh, just an example. Um, Basically, what this definition does is it grabs these B reps and then gets the area and tags them. So if you come in and you know move, or actually I need to move. It's getting the area from the bottom. So if I move this guy out, right, it'll update automatically that tag. Um, each one of these is a separate layer. You have to have things on a separate layer. It will tag it um, as one. You could also use the names of the objects to separate them. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do that. Um, but let's take a look at how the getting the area works. I'm just going to go ahead and sort of disable some of this here, except for the area part. OK, so the way the area works is pretty simple. You just get a BREP container and set multiple BREPs and select those. And then what happens is we go through and we get the section. So let me pull out a panel. So it takes a, the B reps in a plane, which right now is set to X, Y. So if you wanted to do it at the second floor or Z, you could move that plane up, you know, or move a point and use it as a plane. I mean, what we get is a series of polyline curves, right? So it's giving me the closed polyline curves for each one of these at the base, right? So <clears throat> once we do that, we can come through and get the area, right? And it's giving us the area. And then we just round that area up or <clears throat> to the ceiling using the round. Um, and at that point, we have the data. Um, other than I'm using um, this from Elefront, um, this Rhino attribute. Um, and it's important that you get the Rhino attribute from the BREP. You can't use the one that just gets it from the file because it'll be in a different order than the selection order. So the BREP order is important. <clears throat> and so, I mean, you could reorder them if you wanted to, but, um, <clears throat> and this only gets the layers that you're using, right? So what that does is it gives us the layers in the order they were selected. And then we can take the areas that we got and weave them together um, <clears throat> and partition the list every two, and you'll get an ongoing sort of readout of what um, you want to see for your areas. Now, there, if you have any subtractions or anything that is a little unusual, then it gets a little bit more difficult. So I'll try to work on that. Um, and then... When we come back, we'll talk about um, the tagging, right? And then the Excel write.